Eczema, or also called atopic dermatitis by doctors, is the commonest inflammatory skin condition affecting around 20% of children and adolescents in the UK, and it usually affects people under two years of age. A lot of my patients have had eczema since they were born. Eczema is not just a little bit of itching on the skin. We've known that the sleep is disturbed in eczema for a very long time. If you're itching and scratching during the night, you can't sleep. So a lot of our patients have chronic sleep disturbance and that starts when the eczema starts, very often uh, under one year of age. And you can imagine if you're itching and scratching and not sleeping for many years, that that has a profound impact um, on your quality of life. One of the things that we came across in our clinics, and I look after some of the most severe eczema patients in the country, was how many psychological and psychiatric problems our patients have. For instance, a lot of our patients have got anxiety, depression, they're socially withdrawn. What we are doing in this study, which is quite novel, is that we are taking a modern children's sleep lab into the home environment. We'd like to understand a little bit more how skin inflammation links into sleep disturbance, disrupted body clock, and how that might link in with the brain inflammation, uh, all in the quest to understand why so many of our patients have got these severe psychological and psychiatric problems. We've been able to put together a very diverse team of experts. So it's not just me as a children's dermatologist, but we've got um, experts in children's sleep medicine, the body clock, circadian rhythm. We've got experts from our Institute of Psychiatry, Psychology and Neuroscience. You know, working in a multidisciplinary team like that is really exciting. All our treatment guidelines talk about the importance of sleep disturbance uh, in eczema, but they don't really give any guidance on how to manage the sleep disturbance. So uh, really this, this research would like to take us a further step towards uh, managing sleep in a in, in a way that is more holistic and really understands the patient and the connections between the skin and the brain.